Hi everyone, Damien from Premier Defence Agencies here again and welcome to the first of our down and dirty desktop product talks. We're stuck inside with coronavirus like you, so we thought we'd make a couple of little informative videos, help keep away some of the boredom for both you and us. Now first up, you probably guess we're going to talk about UF Pro today. And in that, specifically we're talking about the UF Pro tactical knee pad system. So, what I've got here is a pair of Striker Gen 2 combat pants in the fantastic Slovenian camouflage system called Slocan. And this is the knee section. Now already you can see in the knee section that we've got a quilted padded area here, 500 denier cordura. Now that provides some protection and a few of our customers have said it provides quite satisfactory protection to them. We find that uh, sometimes you need a little bit more and UF Pro has a set of knee pad inserts that go right inside this section and they come in a hard outer insert made of a nice soft plastic, quite flexible, almost rubbery, but stiff enough to stop penetration of sharp objects. There are also soft inserts. Now this is the Sastec knee pad and I'm using this as an idea for you today of how it all goes together. The current product is the three-dimensional tactical knee pad and it's replaced the previous softer pads. It's a much better product. And we'll come to that at another video. So right now, how this all works is there's pockets behind the knee pad section here. One of them's accessed from the top via this zipper, which can be also left open for ventilation. And you can see in there the mesh area. The other is right behind that section of quilted padding right in there. Now that's the hard knee pad insert. So you can take this up in stages. And the first stage might be to go with the soft insert and place that inside the knee pad. Curl it up a bit, slide it in, make sure it's tucked in. And spread out and flat. Zip it back up. Now one thing is you can leave that zipper open in most UF Pro pants so that you can run cooling air around your legs while you walk. That provides a really nice soft section that will move happily with your knee and your leg. If you need that extra protection we do the hard insert. Now you'll notice that the insert pad is tapered to the way it fits. Okay, so flip it over, wriggle the insert in, You can open up the other bit of Velcro to help get it in there. Of course it's always going to give you trouble in the video. However, if you're a user of the cry pants, like I've had to be at times, this is just so much easier. Lock it in. Done. So that's it. You now have your three layer hard pad system inside. There's enough space in that back pouch to go for a second soft insert if you really want to. So you can thicken it up. However, we haven't met anyone who's felt the need to go above the hard insert and the soft insert. And most people seem happy to stick with the basic pad or just the soft insert. Still, better to have all three and put them in as you need them than need them and not have them. 
Now, one of the most important things about your spray pants is getting your leg length right. So that's your inside seam. And that is from this point in the crotch to this point in the leg. These two measurement points should run from around your ankle bone up right up your inside leg. And you'll see the measurements are given for a waist measurement then an inside leg measurement. So you'll find say there's 32 inch waist measurements that run for five different sizes and they go for 32 30, 32 32, 32 33, 32 34, 32 35. Each of those measurements is so that your leg length gets fitted correctly and that will have the knee pad sitting exactly where it should be on your knee. Now we know with the cry that you get the little toggle in the upper pocket and you adjust that and it raises and lowers where the knee pad sits. And then you go to ground somewhere and you get that jabbing into your leg. This system just fit the right pants and those pants are generally available and we can source them for you. So important thing is get your inner leg measurement correct and then you can decide what you want to go with as far as pads. Getting them out, yeah the cry ones are easy to get out but getting them in, this is the change, it's that, so simple. Change it as you go, change it when you want it. Right, we hope this has been informative for you. And uh, just remember, soft and hard parts are available separately. And when you order your UF Pro trousers, no matter which model you get, make sure you get the right inner leg length. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you soon.